It's 10.30 at night and I'm headed out with my buddy Jason. There's a beehive up in a tree about 20 feet off the ground and we're gonna block off the entrance now that it's dark enough for all the bees to be back in, back in the hole. And then tomorrow the tree's getting cut down and we're gonna cut that hive out of the tree and hopefully take some bees for ourselves. So, fingers crossed. I'm a little nervous about climbing up a ladder 20 feet into a tree. Wish me luck. Indeed. What are you doing? So what are you selling? Um, crafts and food. All right, treats. let's see. Okay, and what are those? Um, bird feeders, homemade. All right. And what else? Let's get a look at them. Those are some crazy magnets. <laughs> what else you got? Apple crumble. Ooh, that looks delicious. Um, Did you make that yourself? Yep. Oh, yeah, well, mom kind of a little. Presley, how about you? Earrings. Earrings. Fancy. I made well, it looks like one some fuse beads. Yeah. Fifty cent fuse beads. Yes, That's so. quite a bargain. Oh, all right, good. Nice. Um, nice. And one I of these ones. Muffins. Muffins, nice. What kind? I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, famous cinnamon sugar donut muffins. Who could say no? So I'm headed over getting these these beehives out of a tree trunk. And it is the same tree trunk that we, we taped off last night or we stapled off. Ideally we're gonna go in there, go in there with a chainsaw, both ends are sealed, and without harming any of the bees or harming as few of them as possible, try to extract the comb from that and be able to split that trunk into three or four separate colonies. So that's free bees, and that's the best way to go about it. But we got some work ahead of us for sure. A big old tree full of bees by Jason himself. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. A lot of bees. How many hives do you think you get out of that? Hopefully three. three. There should be a box there, a box there, a box there. Hopefully this is all honey. Yeah. This is all bees. Woo! That'd be nice. Careful. That's the screen we put on last night. Probably hard to see here, but there's a big hole behind there. That was a hole on the outside of the tree, about 20, 25 feet in the air. And when they cut the tree down today, they screened off both ends. Behind there, it's thick. Got honey just leaking into the back of the truck there.
Oh yeah. Finally split this thing in half. that honeycomb. Looks like when he slammed it, you can tell. It really smushed all this comb together. Does it look like, see how it was hanging here? Yep. It looks like, see how they're all wet? This is gonna be a big challenge here. Look at that, that's all honey. Man. That's a mouthful. Mm-hmm. They definitely weren't shy of honey, that's for sure. That's some thick stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Explain what the rubber bands do, or like what it we just did there. Holds the comb from falling out. So you'll, we'll rubber band every one of these to hold them from falling out. And then what they'll do is they'll come back and they'll eat the rubber bands away, chew them out and take them out of the hive, and they'll actually build comb to connect everything together. So, so, so we basically take pieces of what they've done right down here, and that's a lot bigger than the frames that we use in our boxes. And then we take a piece that will fit inside of our frame and then hope that they will continue to fill that out and sort of follow our pattern. That's cool though, I didn't know they ate the rubber bands away. And then what you do is you put it in the box. And see I got drawn to home over here. So what I'll do is I put the broad in the center. And I'll put it next to a drawn comb. So it'll force them to draw it straight. And then I'll put another one of these mm -hmm. next to it like that. And then the next frame, just like this. Because it's bigger, so we're going to be working towards the center. Then the next frame will go here. See what happens when you drop the tree? See how the eggs are flopped over down there? Yeah. That's not good. So the tree fell down with such force that it squished a lot of a lot of the comb together. Mm-hmm. Where's that knife at? Get in there. Found the queen in there. It's gotta go in the box though. Get in the box. In the box. Go down. Oh, she's getting stuck in the honey. Oh no. That's not good. She's in good shape though. She's walking good. That's good. Look at her down, going down there. Perfect. Okay. Now that we got her, we don't have to be so gentle. That was never used. Lay this down. Yep, most of them there. That is a big dead tree. You would never know if something like this was on the inside of it. If you've got bees, if you have, and you know they're honeybees, and they're in the siding of your house, or they're in a big tree outside of your house, don't spray them. You can always find, you can find people who will come get them and put them to good use. All of that honey in there, all of these bees can pollinate our gardens, do so many awesome things, but 
not if you spray them so don't don't do that if you have them we'll take care of it and get them out of there